The Inn at Villa Bianca in Seymour pulls out all the stops to create the wedding of your dreams and provides the perfect backdrop for any other special occasion. The picturesque premises feature an outside patio, gazebo, and a pergola for the perfect wedding. You're looking at the picture right now of the pergola. Chef Tony Mavuli is back with us today to share another one of his most requested dishes. Welcome back, Tony. Nice Great to, to be again here. and nice to see you. Okay, now we are going to be making specifically today, what's the dish? Today we prepare scallops with tarragon, a white wine reduction. Oh, that sounds so fabulous. So it's very delicious. Okay, let's take a look at it's these scallops. It's very important to pick up the rice scallops, which you have to be good size, and drain it, and then you put a little salt and pepper first, if you like. We got to have now, salt and pepper. Uh, definitely you do. And now, now we brown a little bit. Okay. In the meantime, I have the wine reduction there. This is white wine? White wine. We're going to do the tarragon. Okay. And how do you choose scallops, Tony? Well, when you go to the fish store, you have to very take a look. You have to be nice and white. And they should be fresh. If they start to smell, you don't have. Right. And can, you do, can you do this recipe with the smaller scallops? Or do you really yes, want to you could. the big ones? Yes, you could. Okay. 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 Like you see that the reduction is almost finished. We add them a little more. Okay. That's joy. This is white wine. White wine. We're going to, when it's over, a little butter. Okay. But then we're going to put a little tarragon there of to course. give you flavor. And we got to be careful with the scallops, too. We don't want to overcook the scallops. No, we don't. I like it. Medium rare, you have to have a texture. You can see how they brown a little bit there. Yeah, I like nice that brown. golden Look brown. It, yes. Doesn't take long. It's very good dish. You only take five, ten minutes, and you got a perfect dish. Absolutely. I yeah. like to serve over risotto, which is very, very good. Or a salad. Too, right? We have a salad, is sure, if you are a diet, you got <laughs> We got to watch our, our weight around here, Tony. We eat, we yep. eat a lot in the kitchen, you know. <laughs> now, while you're doing it, let's talk about the weddings. All right, you've sure. got a lot of weddings happening this month and the next oh, couple yes. of months. Yes, we start uh, very much this week. Yeah, we start to be busy all the rest of the year. And definitely we are booked for 2012 and 2013 right now. So... Anybody there, give us a call. I'd be glad to sit down and go over the menu, customer menus, and everything. Yeah, so you, you have everything there. They don't need to do much. Not much. We take a lot of stress out of the brides. We help them if she wants to do her own thing. We help her I, I take it from A to Z without too much trouble. Is it fun for you? It's a lot of fun. I, I <laughs> love it. You love it. <laughs> yes. Now you ah, also, these are looking good. Oh, yeah, the scouts are looking good. Now, these also coming good. up, you've got kind of something happening in March, the St. Pat, something with St. Patrick. So, yes, uh, for uh, senior cities, uh, we do St. Patrick Day celebration uh, with the artists dancing, uh, entertainment. So it's very, very, very nice, very popular. And then we have a beautiful brother show, April 10th. Yeah, tell us more about that. We have all the vendors uh, from the jazz photographers, uh, any, all the vendors. And uh, we can show you our place, completely remodeling, complete with everything. We post upon our brother show from January into April this week and see all our, our gardens, pergolas, English gardens, everything. So you give tours of the yes. entire ground during this Exa final show. Exactly. Oh, that's great. And the vendors, you say, are they located all Exa throughout the grounds as well? Yes. All the local vendors, they'll be there. Look at that. So uh, they can choose what do they need for the wedding. Now, you said, oh, this, you said this recipe isn't a, a, a popular recipe for a wedding because well, not this, everybody likes scallops. Well, this is very good for our devs, the appetizer type of thing. I don't know about mancos. Of course you can have it for mancos. Right. We have about of, a minute now. Of a result, we are yeah. done. Matter we are fact, done. That's we what are I thought. Done. We are done. done. And uh, this is, is perfect. Okay. Look at this. This is perfect. It's now I'm going to put. Not overly done. It's no, nice and perfect. And, and 
What, what, what's the consistency there? Soft? It's so it's nice and soft. Nice and soft. Very. Now we're going to put the, uh, we added this to the juice. We're going to put the lemon zest. A little bit. And that's it. And, and just real quickly, you also do fundraisers. We do a lot of fundraisers. Okay. So anybody is interested in a fundraiser, I would be glad to help them out. Uh, okay. And, uh, very, very. So be sure to call Tony because yes. he has a big heart. We help, we help a lot of causes. That's right. If you want more information about the Inn at Villa Bianca, it's located in Seymour. Or come to WTNH.com and click on Connecticut. Style. Beautiful we have that dish. Link for you. It's absolutely beautiful. I can't wait Enjoy. to see it. We Very will. Good. Tony, thank you. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Not to have him. You're so welcome. Thank you. Coming up next on Stage A, time to get your Irish up for the MF Society. The Coogan Irish dancers are here, so stick around.